Hey, this is Professor Perez again. We're going to continue our work with fractions on a number line. And of course, we can't get started without our student of the semester, and that's Charlie. He better be ready to go. Hey, Charlie, you ready to go? Yeah. Yeah, huh? You better be. Okay, here we go. Right there. We're going to work with fractions on a number line. Now, in this video, we will be adding and subtracting fractions with the same denominators, and we will also be adding whole numbers and subtracting whole numbers from fractions, and we will also deal with fractions that have different denominators. How do we add and subtract that? But we're going to do everything on a number line so we can visualize everything. Okay, so here we go, Charlie. Right there. There's our number line there. Now, here comes our first problem. We have one-third plus two-thirds plus four-thirds. All right, we like it when all the denominators are the same because it's just basic arithmetic. This problem is just saying, hey, you have one apple plus two more apples plus four more apples. Now, Charlie, what's one apple plus two apples plus four more apples? Seven apples. Seven apples. So what's one-third plus two-thirds plus four-thirds? Seven-thirds. It's seven-thirds. Really, all you have to do is do one plus two plus four, and that's what we're going to show you here. So here we go, Charlie. All the denominators are the same. We're dealing with thirds. We have one-third plus two-thirds, right, which is three-thirds. Now we've got to add four-thirds, which gives us what, Charlie? Seven-thirds. Seven-thirds. Okay, how do we show our work? Well, we're dealing with thirds, so we write our fraction bar. Three is our denominator, and basically we just add one plus two plus four. We just deal with those numerators. And what's one plus two plus four, Charlie? Seven. Seven, but in this case, it's seven-thirds. There you go. Very easy when the denominators are the same. Okay, let's do another one here. Let's do two-thirds plus seven-thirds subtract four-thirds. Now, don't get scared. Again, they're all thirds, so this problem is just basically two plus seven subtract four. Charlie, what's two plus seven subtract four? It's five, so our answer should be five-thirds. So let's do it on the number line. Here we go. Two-thirds plus seven-thirds is what, Charlie? Nine-thirds. Nine-thirds. Take away four-thirds gives you what? Five-thirds. Five-thirds. That's it. How do you show your work? Well, they're all thirds, so we put our fraction bar. Three is our denominator, and those numerators are two plus seven, subtract four. What's two plus seven subtract four, Charlie? Five. Five. And it's five-thirds. That's it. Very easy when the denominators are the same, right? Okay. Let's do halves now. Here we have five halves subtract three halves, Charlie. Very simple. What's five subtract three? Two. Two. So our answer should be two halves. Well, let's show our work here on the number line. We go over to five halves, take away three halves, gives you how many halves, Charlie? Two halves. Two halves, and that's it. How do we show our work? Well, we have halves. Our numerators are five and a three, but we're subtracting, that's our operation. And what's five subtract three, Charlie? Two. two. And we have two halves. Now, remember, two halves means two divided by two. What is two divided by two, Charlie? One. It's one. Of course, there it is right there on the number lines, right? And that's that. Now, I know you're all saying, well, what if the denominators are the same, Mr. Perez? All right, let's deal with that now. Well, suppose we have fractions and whole numbers. Let's do that first. Okay, here we have three halves subtract one plus two. Okay, now how do we deal with this? Remember, in this video, we're going to deal with number lines. All right, so we want fractions that all have the same denominator. In this case, we only have one fraction, which is three halves, so we want to write those whole numbers as fractions with denominators of two. So here we go. We have three halves. We're going to leave that one alone, and we're going to subtract one. Now, the question is, how do you write one with a denominator of two? Well, look at our number line here. How many halves does it take to make up a one, Charlie? Two. It's two halves. So one is two divided by two. That makes sense. What's two divided by two, Charlie? One. It's one, right? Remember, we want all our fractions to have the same denominator. So we write one as two over two, because two divided by two is one. And now we're going to add two to it, right? Now, how many halves does it take to make a two, Charlie? Four of them. Four of them, because four divided by two is two. You can look at the number line there. So two 
written as a fraction with a denominator of two is four over two. It makes sense. You can see four halves is the same as two. And now all your denominators are the same, correct? All right, Charlie. So what do we do? Just go in the number line and say three halves, take away two halves, plus four halves is what, Charlie? Five halves. Five halves, right? How do we show our work? Well, we write our fraction bar. Our denominators are two because we're dealing with halves and we write our numerators, three subtract two plus four, right? And three subtract two is what, Charlie? One plus four is five. five and so our answer is five halves. So there you go. All right, now, finally, well, what if the fractions have different denominators? Well, this is the case where we must find a common denominator, preferably the lowest common denominator. Now, we're going to work more in detail in the next video, part three. Right now, we're going to visualize everything on the number line here. Okay, so here we go, Charlie. We have three halves, subtract two thirds plus five six. Now, you see all the denominators are different. All right, we got to make them the same. So, we have a number line with halves, and then we have a number line with thirds, and we have a number line with six here on the bottom, right? Now, six is actually called the lowest common denominator because the three halves and two thirds can be written as a fraction with a denominator of six. We will learn the technique in the next video. Here, we're going to visualize on the number line. So, Charlie, here we go. Look at the three halves. Now, three halves is how many sixths? Nine six. It's nine six, right? And so three halves can be written as nine six, right? Let's we'll just look at the number line. Now, we're going to subtract two thirds, but two thirds can be written as how many sixths, Charlie? Four six. Four six. You can see it right there, right? And the five six, we're going to leave that one alone. So we just add the five six. Now notice all the denominators are the same, so it becomes a basic arithmetic problem, right? So here we go, Charlie. We have nine sixths. Take away four sixths is what, Charlie? Five sixths. Five sixths, right? And we add five sixths to that, and what do we get? Ten sixths. Ten sixths. All right, we'll show that again on the number line in a second. Now realize here, denominators are the same, so we'll write a fraction bar, write our denominator, six, our lowest common denominator is a six, and now we just deal with those numerators. 9 subtract 4 plus 5. And so basically, once you get the denominators all the same, when you're adding and subtracting, it's just basic arithmetic. It's just 9 subtract 4 plus 5. So here we go again on the number line, Charlie. Basically, we're doing 9, that's 9, 6, take away 4, add 5. And so our answer is what, ten, Charlie? 10, 6. 10, 6. Very nice there. Now, look at our number lines. 10 sixths can actually be written as a fraction with a denominator of three, right? Look over there. 10 sixths is the same as what fraction, Charlie? Five thirds. Five thirds. Now, that's called reducing fractions. Now, our answer is five thirds as a reduced fraction. Now, that's fine if you have number lines in front of you, right? Well, what if you don't have number lines? That's where you have to change the denominators using arithmetic. And that's what we're going to cover in our next video. So, hope you all come back soon.